Mod number one is auto watering. So auto watering helps in automatically watering the crops as you are planting them. For example, over here I am planting spring seeds and this will automatically water the seeds while I am planting them. So I don't need to go and fill my watering can and then water the crops which will take valuable energy while I am playing like I am currently at year 2 or 3. But when you're starting the game, you don't have that much energy and it will take a lot of energy for you to go and water the crops. So keep, keeping this mod will help you to save up the energy that you can use in other, other things like mining, clearing the land, etc. What is it? <laughs> Automate allows you to automatically process raw materials taking them from the chest and putting them into the machine and vice versa to the uh, finished products. For example, over here, I have driftwood. So if I place it into this machine, which is near the trash. Sorry, let's keep that over here. So if I take this and put the driftwood over here, the trash machine, I have two of the trash recycler and I had three driftwood. So the uh, recycler took two of the driftwood and it will change it back into one of the resources. The same happens with furnace, if I place coal over here, uh, the copper ore, so the furnace pulls the copper ore along with the coals into for processing and once the copper bars will be ready, they will push, push it back into the chest for me to collect at my own leisure. Whenever the uh, raw material is finished, either the copper bar, copper ore or the coal over here in this case, then it will stop the process. Which is also a bad thing. So if you need coal for preserve jars, it, you won't have it if you don't keep it in mind. And it will continue pulling the raw materials into making bars. The next mod is NPC map location. Go to maps and here you will find a map which shows all the NPCs and where they are at. For example, Kent is at one below lane home of Jody, Kent and Sam. So that means right now in the home of Jody, Kent and Sam, only Kent is present. Marnie's ranch, Shane and Marnie is present over here. So using this map, you can find whomever you want. So if you're in a hurry to find someone, this map really helps. The next map is gift test helper. Hit escape. Go to the social tab and then browse over for uh, the NPC that you want to give any gifts. For example, today is Sam's birthday as we saw. So let's see what Sam likes. Sam likes golden pumpkin, magic rock candy, pearl, prismatic shirt, rabbit's foot, crocus, daffodil, mango sticky rice and uh, sweet tea. Okay. So if we go and find Sam, let's use the map. You can also use M which is a hotkey for Sam. Sam is in the museum. Sam's over here. I didn't know Sam works at the museum. I just needed me that. And now you can give Sam a gift. And it was his birthday. See, we got extra hearts from Sam. And the last mod for today is telephone purchasing. As the name suggests, you can purchase anything with the help of the telephone. First, you need to go and buy the telephone from Robin. But after you bought the telephone from Robin, you can use the telephone to buy anything at any time from the comforts of your own home. For example, today is Wednesday, as you can see over here. Today is Wednesday. And as you guys know, Pierce is closed on Wednesday. So let's go to Pierce. If it give us a message that today we are closed. I forgot I'm in year 3. Oh no. Okay, let's wait. It's 6.30, so hopefully everybody's close now. Let's call Pierce. It will show the message that they are closed. And then you can go check the inventory. And let's say I want to buy red cabbage seeds. I can buy whatever I want. Okay. Then let's go call Mar Marnie. And we can check the livestock prices and we can buy the uh, livestock also the only thing is in this case you have to call each time you want to buy an animal for example if I am directly in Marnie's shop I won't have to wait that much like it's uh, it wastes your time using this mod to buy animals if you can just go and buy them you can buy them very quickly but in this case if I suppose I want to buy a rabbit I don't know if I have place for a rabbit do I have let's see 
I do. Okay. So once I bought the rabbit, let's name it Ruffy. That's okay. And she will send the rabbit right away. And the rabbit will arrive right now. Then again, you have to call. So this calling process takes a lot of time. I called Pierce by mistake. My fault. But I hope you guys understood what I'm trying to say. So you can use this telephone purchasing for everything. Except I would suggest except buy uh, animals from Marnie. You can just directly go to Marnie's shop. But the thing is, it helps in a way because Marnie is hardly at her store. At least I find it very difficult to find Marnie. So in that case, you can definitely call and get the animals. So if I call Clint. And if we check the tool upgrade cost, so I have the things that I can upgrade right now is my hoe, my axe and the pickaxe and the trash can. So if you have the amount that is there and the required items, for example, EDM axe requires 25,000 gold and 5 EDM bars. So if you have that, you can directly send it to him without wasting your time. So he will start working it today and since it's already 8 p.m. right now, so it already counts as one day. So if you wait for two days, let's wait, let's go to sleep. So yesterday was one day, today is the second day. I think it takes two days to complete. And after two days, after only waiting one day, my ADM Max is ready. Place the order or give the order right at 12. When you're just about to go to sleep, you will save a whole day. That's it for today, guys. I hope you like this short video. <laughs> I'm new to this, so I hope you guys like it. And if you have any new mods or any other mods that you like to play with or you play with, please let me know down in the comments and I will check it out. I hope you guys like this and bye bye.